Thank you, Tony. And our Pinpoint Weather team coverage continues now with Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian. She spoke to local officials today about their storm preparations. She joins us now live from the mobile newsroom with what she's learned. With snow on the way, those in charge of keeping the roads safe and clear are working to get ready to ensure that tomorrow morning's commute goes smoothly. With overnight snowfall set to potentially impact the morning commute, the DOT is gearing up. We're making sure the trucks are all set and uh, we have material. We were taking salt deliveries as late as yesterday and um, we just get everything ready for today. The Rhode Island DOT's Joe Bucci says they'll be carefully monitoring the storm to determine when to send crews out onto the roads. State trucks will be, we have 105 ready of the heavy trucks, and we've got up to 400 vendor trucks if, we, if they're needed. In Cranston, Mayor Alan Fung tells us they're also keeping their eyes on the skies. We are putting a parking ban in effect for 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. We're going to have our sanders come out at around 3 a.m. You know, if this uh, storm actually does start coming, uh, we'll monitor, you know, how much snow we get, and we'll call in the trucks and the plows, you know, depending on the accumulation. He says their highway crews are busy clearing storm drains, sharpening plow blades, and filling trucks with sand and salt to get roads clear when the traffic picks up tomorrow morning. It's not our first rodeo to go through with uh, any type of snow. Uh, we're going to be ready. We're going to make the roads uh, safe and passable for our residents. And the DOT says, of course, if you have to be on the roads during tomorrow's storm, drive slowly and carefully in the snow and give plow drivers plenty of room to do their jobs. Now, coming up new at 6, we'll tell you how this storm's expected impact is going to be different from the last one. Reporting live in East Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. This news reporter Kim Kalunian joins us now live in East Providence. The last time we saw significant snowfall, it was on the weekend. This time, it's expected to impact the weekday morning commute. The DOT says the response to this storm could be tricky given its timing. It definitely will impact the morning commute. And, you know, that modifies things because if traffic's not moving, we're not moving. Joe Bucci from the Rhode Island DOT says the snow will likely be coming down as people are preparing to head out to work or school. Between 7 a.m. and 10 a.m., we could be looking at two inches per hour of heavy, wet snow. So it's going to make the morning commute difficult. In Cranston, Mayor Alan Fung says his crews are gearing up, sharpening plow blades and loading trucks with salt and sand. He, too, says because of the potential impact on the morning drive, people need to build in extra time to get where they're going. We just need people just to be patient. Uh, you know, take that extra time to, you know, on during the commute. The advice is the same from the DOT. Bucci says those who need to be on the roads should take it slow. The roads are slippery. People need to reduce their speeds. They need to drive a lot more cautiously, pay attention to what's going on around them. Um, don't pass the plows. And the DOT says they have more than 100 state trucks ready to go for tomorrow's storm. They also have 400 trucks on call if they need them. Reporting live in East Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.